go get him again. What's going on, Fragrance family? Welcome to the Road Zoe channel. I'm your host, Mark, and welcome to an unboxing first impression on the brand of Zerzhov. And this is the Hype Beast Naxos. So we are at the end, finally, of my eight bottle Zerzhov haul, and I wanted to end it with a bang with Naxos here. Probably the most hyped Zerzhov of all time. Yes, this is. I'd be surprised if this juice is actually better than my original Richwood and um bottles from Zerzhov. But I'll play the game here and we'll see how good this really is. But those two are hard to beat. Those are my one, two uh, for uh, Zerzhov. Now this is a true blue unboxing first impression here. I actually have not seen in real life these new 1861 bottles. I have my own, that my old uh, Renaissance bottle, which was the square one. So uh, we'll see. And of course, I've never smelt this hype beast before. Now, people always get surprised when there's a hype beast and I say I haven't smelt this fragrance and I the reason why is that I don't get influenced period I don't um, there could be a huge hype and I'm not stupid my ear is on the ground in the fragrance community I know which fragrances have been hyped and I know the reasons why they've been hyped. So I'm, I'm really on the pulse of the fragrance community. You know, like I stay away from Parfum de Marly. I stay away from certain brands because I know they're free bottle brigade. Um, Zerzhov is known for that, but this is probably something that is out of the realm of the free bottle brigade, personally, I think. Like some, yes, some people did get a free bottle of this stuff, but at the same time, this is not a snoozer that got uh, hyped. It, it wouldn't have had this much traction. Now, people do get in, do get really surprised, uh, but I'll be honest, I just go on the own beat of my drum. I'm either interested in a fragrance or not, so don't be surprised anymore. Um, I will be unboxing and, and sniffing out fragrances that I've been hyped for years, and I'm late, um, and it's only because my interest is not there. Uh, my money is allocated for certain fragrances uh, for certain periods of time that I go, okay, I want to buy this, this, and this. Um, so I'm very calculated in that realm. So it was time for to, to get this uh, bottle of Naxos. It is um, really, in, in a lot of fragrance reviews, it is compared to this one, Muglier Amen Pure Havan. Now, Pure Havan, uh, first of all, Amen line, Muglier, what the hell are you guys doing? Um, they're all gone. Um, I hope they do come back, but Pure Havan here, uh, you may or may not know, not my favorite. I'm a pure malt guy. Um, I'm the original Amen type of guy, uh, pure coffee. Um, I don't think this was their best release. So that's where this kind of comes into play is that if this is close to this or a niche version of this, a cleaned up version of this, it'll be good but it won't be something that I'll be highly interested in. I'll wear it from time to time. And you could see, you know, my pure malt bottle has a way bigger dent than this one right here, but I do wear it from time to time. Um, so I'm looking forward to unboxing this one. Let's get into it. It should be a honey tobacco based fragrance from what I hear. So we'll see. I'm um, again, and I do apologize for this because there's box upon box. Like I, Usually unbox the first box, like this actually comes in another box, but I just take that one out uh, for the video because you don't need to see me unbox it three, four times. Um, so there it is, Naxos. Let's see these new bottles. This is a hundred mil, right? Totally forgot it comes into uh, the big bottle, the big frosted bottle. So it's my first time handling um, one of these uh, 100 mil Zerzhov in the frosted bottle Renaissance or 1861 um, line. And this is a line that I'd like to discover more. I think there's is there two more. Is there one more? I think there's one more. Um, Zafiro, if I'm correct, I might be wrong. Um, so this one, of course, the Hype Beast, a beautiful bottle. Um, I actually like the shape of this bottle. It, it fits in my hand pretty well. Ooh, the cap was tight on this one, but we got it off. So let's sniff Naxos, my scent of the day today. Oh yeah. I can smell the pure Havan DNA off this already. It smells like it. Yeah. Tobacco, vanilla, honey, a little bit of cinnamon, some lavender in here though. 
Ooh, the lavender might be the X factor in this one. Lavender is really good in this one. It doesn't smell like dryer sheets. And it had a little bit of citrus up top. So yeah, you guys are spot on. And again, like a million people have said that. So it's not like one or two reviewers have said it. a million of them have said pure Havan. And yeah, this is an easy review. Cleaned up version, high end version of this. Yeah, um, it. Man, there's a lot of lavender in this. Like that's what uh, separates uh, the men from the boys. <laughs> the lavender. Um, and it's a well done lavender. Like not too many uh, brands can pull off a good lavender. There's not too many out there. Uh, but this is a very good lavender. But uh, yeah, you know, my thought process when I bought this was that it was going to be an entry level niche because it's so popular and all that. And this is, that's bang on. Um, it is an entry, like someone that's just getting into niche fragrances. What's an easy fragrance to purchase. This may be your first search off purchase. I can see that. Um, you know what? It's surprisingly lighter than that one. And I think the citrus is up top, even though they, they dissipate really quickly. Um, I think the lavender is the big culprit here that really makes this more versatile, easier to wear, lighter than expected, but it still has some darkness to it. So for me, um, this will be good, like a start to, you know, I unbox this at the right time, October. Start October, perfect. I'm going to wear this in the fall. Winter, I think I'm going to tuck this away. I think I have a lot more interesting releases. But this is one of those fragrances that... Is it great? N no. No, it's not. Um, but is it a solid release from Zerjoff? Yes, and that's why they sell them like cookies. Um, is it a 10 out of 10 for me? No. No, not at all. Yeah, I, I, I'm not blown away with this one like I was with Zerjoff, um, Richwood. Um, even at Renaissance, um, that citrus just popped and the mint was really, really good. And there's only, I would say, a handful of Zerjoffs. Like I could probably do a top five list and even then that might be stretching it, of fantastic fragrances from the brand. Like I mean, blow your socks off type of good. This is, and they have a lot of these, and, and that's the where the entry level stuff comes in. People that get just into niche, this and, you know, a dozen to three, four dozen of their fragrances really get into that realm of easy to wear, you know, built right, um, people pleasing. Um, and this, that's what it does. It cleans this up. Like this has that base of the Amen DNA and it kind of makes it a little rougher around the edges. This, the lavender and the honeyed sweetness here almost makes it more unisex and makes it more versatile, easier to wear. And that's where you sell units. And that's where this is. But it's lighter than expected. I didn't think... And again, I have, you know, I don't watch reviews on this like crazy, but... Like I know about it. A lot of people talk about the honey, the tobacco in this, and the cinnamon kinda, and you know, the tobacco vanillic honey cinnamon type of thing. That's pretty much the, the notes that people talk about. They're not wrong, but the lavender has a huge presence in here and softens this fragrance, makes it so versatile, so much easier, grounds it a little bit, that this thing's a little more scratchy, much more synthetic, of course, and uh, darker. Um, so, and then it gets rid of its versatility in that case. Yeah, a good release, a solid release. And that's, again, from the brand of Zerjoff, that's what you come to expect. You're not getting in my personal opinion, 10 out of 10s out of the park. You're really getting a lot of seven and eight out of 10s that are really solid. And that's it. This is a, an eight. I like the blend on this one. But yeah, it is what it is. An entry level niche. That's all it is. Now that you heard my take, I'd love to see yours in the comments below. Uh, my opinion might be a little polarizing. A lot of people absolutely love this. It's one of their favorites and I can see why. Very people pleasing, very easy to wear, but um, you know, when you're wearing or you're spending this kind of money, Zerjoff money, um, which is quite expensive, 
Um, I can see a lot of people that you know don't have that huge disposable income or all that. Why would they choose a Zerjoff um which limits you or a Richwood that limits you as far as wearing? So you want something versatile, easy to wear, stuff like that. I could see the appeal. It's a very solid scent, and that is it. So as always, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your scent wisely. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.